Have you heard about this new collider? The Future Circular Collider? In the bottom left of the screen, you can see the edge of the Large Hadron Collider, costing billions of dollars to taxpayers worldwide. You could see earlier colliders here with smaller diameters, but the Future Circular Collider, a $23 billion project, could be the dumbest, the largest waste of money in human history, period. Let's talk about it. Now, back in June, just a week ago, this article was published where CERN makes a bold push to build a $21 billion super collider. The European Particle Physics Lab will pursue, pursue a 100-kilometer machine to uncover the Higgs boson secrets. Now, this is what they claimed when they made this collider, the Large Hadron Collider. They claimed that this would solve the, the Higgs boson. And guess what? It did not. So now they're going to build an even bigger one for $21 billion to uncover the same secrets. <laughs> but CERN wants to build this massive super collider, and there's problems. That's the headline here, BGR. It's four times larger than the already massive Large Hadron Collider, which provided no information on the God particle, the, B the Higgs boson. In fact, it concluded that it probably is not real or not significant. That's what it proved. The Large Hadron Collider proved that the Higgs boson is not significant. It's just another smaller particle on a list of smaller particles that we'll find for billions of dollars each time, which reveal nothing, by the way, because the physics is wrong. The science is wrong from the beginning. And they're always baffled at what they find. Now, the project called Future Circular Collider will cost $23 billion, but it should actually be called Future Jobs for Those Involved. That's what this should be called, future jobs for those involved. Because the people, the dozens of scientists involved in this scam know it's a scam, but they're just trying to retire. It's absolutely ludicrous, the misappropriation of money. Look at the website here at CERN, Future Circular Collider. All we need is all the money in the world to create this giant tube which, by the way, they have technology to do. I wonder how many tubes and cities are underground already. But the goal of the future circular collider is to greatly push the energy and intensity frontiers of particle colliders to the edge of possibility, maybe even destroying the entire planet. Nobody knows. But let's break it down in the billions. The complete waste of money will cost $23 billion. Does that sound like a lot of money? Because to me, $23 billion sounds like it could do a lot of good things for a lot of people on this planet. I might be naive, but hopefully I'm not. But stick with me here, and we're going to break it down. Downtown Leroy Brown. <laughs> how's, that, how's this look? Let me just fix that and just do that. Oh, wrong way. Okay. Hello. Now, so we've gone over the basics. The Large Hadron Collider is complete waste of money. It's not even funny. But let's break it down. Let's use current topical news. My activism research and work began almost a decade ago with the March Against Monsanto in Philadelphia, where we will, were able to reach the tipping point in the population on the East Coast, where over 3% of the population were aware of what genetically modified organisms were, the dangers of glyphosate, and the fact that hundreds of billions of gallons of this toxic chemical were being saturated into our soils every year 
building up through time, causing celiac disease, autism, and other potentially egregious inflammatory type diseases across the world starting in about in the early 1990s. Now, the mainstream does not agree with us, but we don't care about them because they're full of sharp. What we care about is what's ongoing. And almost a decade later, Bayer reaches a $10 billion settlement in the Roundup cancer lawsuits. Now, this means that people that deserve the money are going to be getting it. Yes! But it also means that there are going to be clauses in this settlement that prevent anyone else being harmed from glyphosate ever in the future from getting any compensation. They only left a little tiny piece, a billion plus. This $10 billion settlement settles thousands upon thousands of lawsuits. And for a useless experiment, these physicists are asking for double that. Let's break that down on how ridiculous this is. Well, first of all, let's go back to the Monsanto bear. Bear bought Monsanto knowing that the problem was that they would have to settle. Monsanto bear have been back and forth different names since 1901. By 1940, it was Bear Monsanto. They made Agent Orange, and after that was controversial, it became Monsanto again. Now it's back to Bear Monsanto. Can you imagine that? What will they make now? Well, what they did do is that they agreed on paying out $10 billion to everyone that they killed, because that's what they do for a living. They kill people, and then they, after the fact, agree on a settlement, which is well below the profit that they made. They're like, let me see, how much did we make on glyphosate? $80 billion? Yeah, we'll give them $10 billion. Who cares? <laughs> we, already, we already made $70 billion, and we're going to keep spraying it. Hundreds of thousands of gallons every year because glyphosate-ready crops exist and the seeds are being sold. Corn, soybean, etc. Roundup ready, baby. Killing you quicker than you can imagine. Making you sicker quicker. Monsanto bear. So this $10 billion settlement comes out, and, and, and in the clause, no one can sue them ever again for glyphosate. Isn't that convenient? Mm. So there's your future. Billions of gallons of glyphosate being dumped on the earth. Let's break down $23 billion real quick. How many people could you feed with a billion dollars? You could give 2 billion meals with a billion dollars. That's approaching a quarter of the population. You could feed them. So let's break down $23 billion. That's 40 billion meals or so. We could feed the entire world for an entire week for that money. The problem is that only 10% of the world is starving. We could feed them almost forever. We could teach them how to farm. We could implement sustainability programs in those communities that could prevent the suffering of hundreds of millions of people forever. Instead, a bunch of greedy lifer fake scientists, physicists that work at the Large Hadron Collider have all corroborated to bleed that money out of the system, starve hundreds of millions of people so that they can do experiments that will show nothing. This is the state of the world you live in. Why no one is speaking up? Uh, no one is speaking up about this except me. Maybe a few people worldwide. It's disgusting. Just like my lighting. But I digress. It's the sign of the times. How strange is this world which chooses money over people, chooses luxury over love, chooses whitey over any other color, chooses anger over patience. Nobody wants to listen to what you have to say. It's their way or the highway, period. I tend to be into critical thinking, which is why many of you hate me, because I will change my opinion from one day to the next based on new data. Now, we call that science, which is not happening anywhere in any scientific institution for the most part worldwide. 90% of all scientific papers are dogmatic, based on funding, based on the endpoint analysis, 
based on what the professor, the scientist needs. Do they need money? Do they need funding? Do they need to retire? Do they just have a baby? <laughs> it's disgusting. Our society chooses anger over patience. Now, patience is a virtue. And in my opinion, our society has lost all virtue. Our society also chooses temporary things over permanent bonds. We would rather hate our neighbor than to accept them for who they are. This is ingrained and it's been trained. And it's very sad. Stop putting money before people. Have you ever heard a politician say this? No, because the reason that they're in power is because of Citizens United. If you don't know what that is, please search the interwebs to your utmost ability on Citizens United, where it gave corporations the power to vote with the dollar. Citizens don't matter. Money matters. Get money out of politics, and politics may change. They may be fair. There may be democracy. But currently, there is only corporatocracy. Well, at this current juncture, idiocracy. Period. So there's a lot to learn. And there's a lot of large and loud popping sounds that need to happen across the world. Barry and Monsanto have polluted the ground, contaminated your food, taken control of the entire population, have made people sick since the early 90s due to the genetically modified crops and associated chemicals with Dow and pharmaceuticals is complicit and other uh, chemical companies, I'm sorry. Syngenta, Bayer, on and on, have the ability to pay off governments. It's called the revolving door. Did you know that the CEO of Monsanto actually has positions at the top of the FDA? This has been going on for decades. Please look into it. It took me a while to uncover, but we did all the groundwork back in 2012, and it's all publicly available. The system you live in is totally corrupt from the top down. We need to rebuild it from the bottom up. We're asking each and every one of you to start growing food. We've been doing this for three years. We've been e asking each and every one of you to add value to your community, learn how to wild craft, wild harvest, learn about wild edibles, learn about fish in your region, learn how to hunt, learn a new skill that will help your community, not detract from it. Stop buying from China. Stop buying from Walmart unless you need it. If you need something, please, by all means, go get it. But if you can source it locally and it costs a little more, take the hit. Because if each and every one of us do this together, we can end $10 billion settlements because we won't need them. We will not need big chemical companies that use disposed biological weapons to create our food. That doesn't even make sense. If you don't understand what I just said, then you don't understand what you're eating. If you eat cornflakes, if you eat Captain Crunch, even if you eat Cheerios, you're giving them to your children. This is toxic chemicals from corporations that claimed they are safe. Do you know why they did that? Because they're willing to pay $10 billion to kill the world. Because they still made $70 billion. And at the same time, scientists that claim that they're looking for answers, they're just looking for money. They're looking for $23 billion to build a, a super project that they already know is a failure. They went from this to this to this, and they never found anything. But now they have to go to this, the biggest waste of money in human history, period. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the future we are entering. Science is dead, critical thinking is over. The reason we're doing these videos 
is to wake up the few people that may help us move forward into the new paradigm. We're currently in, in an idiocracy. The controlled narrative will chip us all, vaccinate us all, monitor every single step you take. Is that the future you want? Because I will fight to the death to prevent that. Join us. Share this video with like-minded people. Stop funding the frauds. The money funders are starving you. The biggest reallocation of wealth has occurred in the last six months in human history. Not a single mainstream outlet is talking about that. But I'm going to be talking about that tomorrow with David Martin from David Martin's World. We're going to break down the entire scam. We may be taken off YouTube. We'll definitely be demonetized. But this is information that's important. The next few days is dedicated to giving you the information you need to survive and thrive in the corrupt world that you're living in. The surge is happening. Couldn't be further from the truth. When you increase testing, you can increase propaganda. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. In the idiocracy, 1984, brave new world you have entered. It's the new normal. And I will not take part. Will you? Crickets?